Welcome back all of you all. This is the first interview in the series of interviews for NEET SS 2023 results in obstetrics and gynecology. We have got a lot of toppers from Repronet Learning in the first 60 rank holders who are definitely going to get a seat in this, uh, this year's counseling. Today we have got with us the very talented Dr. Mallari Chandravadia who has got rank nine, uh, wonderful rank Dr. Mallory. Uh, congratulations, many congratulations on this. You are here to discuss with us your story, how you managed to get this rank and uh, what tips would you give to the juniors who are preparing for the next exam? So let's start with a short introduction. Where did you do your UG and PG from doctor? Uh, thank you, ma'am. Ma'am, I did my UG from BJ Medical College, Ahmedabad and I did my post-graduation from Maulana Azad Medical College, New Delhi, ma'am. And when did you finish your post-graduation? Uh, Ma'am, this year only. In July, we had our exam. July 23. So you're a fresher. Yes, ma'am. Uh, many congratulations on that. Also on, uh, you know, achieving such a big goal in such a short time. You just completed your PG in July and now you're here uh, in one of the most difficult exams with rank 9. Many congratulations for that. So let us discuss how did you manage to do this? How was this possible? How was your preparation during your post-graduation time? Your first year, did you get time to study? No. <laughs> in my first year, actually, mom, our batch is COVID batch. So in my first year, we had uh, like COVID duties and then normal ward duties. And it was all very new for us. So in first year, ma'am, as usual, also, we don't get time in first year. But our first year was entirely different. So. And COVID would take one hour of doffing and donning the... Yes, ma'am. <laughs> so it was difficult. Yes. Uh, the COVID time. So first year, you did not read. When did you start reading then? Uh, Mom, uh, by the end of first year, actually, uh, in our unit, we used to have... Uh, rounds where those rounds would be like for lasting for three four hours we would have a long discussion so from that a little bit i had started reading but mainly ma'am from second year only i had started reading what all would you read in second year i mean second year i read the like uh, basic textbooks uh, novax for gynecology williams for obstetrics the standard textbooks i had read in ma'am second year started reading from second did year. you read fair uh, Ma'am, Spiroff, I read, but like only a few chapters, not the entire book. I did and not did read you that. read Berek and Hacker? No, ma'am, I did not read Berek and Hacker. I only read your notes. That's a very important advice for students to take that Spiroff and Berek and Hacker are very big books. You'll not yes. be able to finish them even if you start in the second year. Yes, ma'am. <laughs> With clinical posting, it is difficult. Yes. Williams Obstetrics is quite manageable. Yes, so one textbook, if you can read, it should be Williams Obstetrics. Spiroff yes. is no doubt a very good book. Berek and Hacker is a very good book, but they are very elaborate. Big books, yes. Big books, actually big, big books to read. Yes, so you just read Berek and Novak and uh, Williams Obstetrics. How did you yes, prepare for your exit exam, the final university exam? Uh, Ma'am, uh, for my final, like I had uh, taken Repronate uh, subscription from January. So from then I had started making notes along with uh, the standard books that I was reading. So in the notes only I was adding anything that I found new in the books. So I had my notes made and then for the final exam I was reading from the notes and I was like I wanted to I did not want two different books uh, for my university as yeah. well as for my uh, like NEET SS exam because from in January only I had decided that I want to give this year NEETS exam. So I wanted one book which I can read for university also and for NEET also. So. Wonderful. This method of preparing is very good because if you start preparing for MCQs, your theory becomes very strong and mm -hmm. you're able to write theory answers very easily. And more than that, you're able to answer in vivas very confidently. Yes, so preparing for theory exams is not just reading questions and answers. If you prepare for MCQs, if you're ready with MCQs, then you will be able to answer any kind of long answer questions. In fact, in MCQs, the point is you cannot leave any topic to choice. Like yes, we do for theory preparation. This is difficult. I'll do it at the end. When you prepare for an MCQ based exam, you have to read each and every chapter and each and every topic has to be covered. Yes. So if you are thorough with your MCQ preparation, the exit exam is going to be easy. And your method of preparation is wonderful. You would make your own notes, same notes, which you would read for uh, the university theory exams and for your NEET SS exam. And that yes. is how you managed to clear both of them, you know, such wonderful. Yes. Right. So after your exam, 
how many months were there for you to prepare uh, ma'am my ma exam ended in uh, june like 22nd june i had my practical so after that july august and september three september, months three months so how would you read in these three months Ma'am, initially I had not joined SR ship. Like, uh, I joined SR ship from fifteenth September. So for the two and a half months, I had time. Focused. Yes, yes. ma'am. Yes, I had. I was focused initially in the first half of July. I was not that uh, pre preparing for NEET, but then I started for two months. I had a whole time where I was dedicatedly, dedicatedly preparing for ma'am NEET SS. And then from fifteenth September, I joined. Uh, SR ship, so I did not get that much time, but I was reading there, well, like two three hours in the last fifteen days. I did not get much time. Much now. time because you're joined. So yeah. you were focused right from January twenty twenty three. You prepared yeah. your own notes, and after the exam, also you were confident that you're going to get a seat. That's why you uh, chose to sit at home and read. No, ma'am. That yes. uh, no. I... <laughs> this confidence should be there. This focus should be there because students keep deciding whether to sit, whether to join a heavy. And people tell me after joining SR ship, after clearing an exam with not a very good rank, that that was a wrong decision. I have heard this from students that joining a very hectic SR ship just before the exam was a wrong decision. So you have to decide. It is very important that clinical job, clinical work, clinical experience is very important. But when you are from such an institute like MAMC, where your clinical exposure is already so good you can afford to give two to three months which you did yes so it was a good yes. decision and it worked in the right way yes ma'am and you actually got... if uh, anyone is serious about preparing for future they should give like they yes. should give two three months for preparation dedicated preparation then it is possible ma'am yes Yes, it's not that you sit for one year like we would do in pre-PG, need PG exams. You cannot sit mm -hmm. for a year. But for two to three months, you can give that time if you're focused and if you yes. want to do it. Yes. Uh, wonderful. So what all would you read in this time, in the two months? Uh, uh, Ma'am, I had prepared the notes uh, and all. But uh, since the last one month, I was more focused on the theory examination. So then I again went through all the videos. I had completed the videos before my theory exams once, all your videos. Then I went through the videos again so that I could revise it faster with the videos. And then I revised my notes with the videos. And then you had that update, a uh, new uh, feature where update yes, and MCQ recall discussion. Was that, was that helpful? I believe that was helpful. When I yes. took the question, uh, some questions were repeated and some concepts were repeated. So it was a good practice to revise the recalls just yes. before the exams. Um, it is difficult to see the same video again and again. So when yes. it is in so a some different some format. Is there, yes. Yes, yes, yes. I should give that a consideration that before the exam, should students should be getting something new. Yes, ma'am. So then that was helpful because... Uh, it is good uh, when you hear also you remember more instead of just reading and reading. So like your sentences would be there in our mind while we are answering an MCQ. Like you have to think this way, like they're uh, trying to ask it in this way. So yeah. That's nice. So nice to hear that from you. Uh, tell me something else. What tips would you want to give to the students? The uh, exam is nearing. INISS is just in 15 days. So any tips to those preparing for these exams? Ma'am, uh, like if if you are sure you want to study further and you want to give, then you should give yourself a chance and you should like not be in a dilemma whether you want to do a job or you want to do this. Like you should decide whether you want to do further studies, then you should give yourself that time to study and study if you study notes also, but you should revise more number of times, then it would be helpful. Like reading new things is not helpful. More, more, more number of things. Like you should be revising what you have read. Then only you will remember. Otherwise, you'll get confused. You will read something from here and something from yeah. there. Yes. So two very important tips that you give is that you have to decide whether to work or whether to prepare. And then don't go on reading, reading everything. Yeah. Yes, you have to revise. You should be you should be reading only that much which you can revise before the exam. Yes, ma'am. Yes, and ma'am, one should be giving MCQ and grand test exams also. Like you, once you are once you read it two times, then then it becomes difficult. Like you don't know from which part the questions are asked. So once we give the MCQ, we understand that no, this sentence was supposed to be read in this way. Like 
we don't okay. get it in which yes. manner the question can be asked from the notes which we have written so yes we you get to know that only after solving mcqs yeah. that i did read this paragraph but still i was not able to answer the question yes. because something which i missed was asked something which it, uh, took reading between the lines Yes, yes. Wonderful. What was your source of revision in all of this time? Your notes? Yes, ma'am. Wonderful. And where did you prepare those notes from? Ma'am, uh, from your videos and uh, from uh, Williams and the guidelines like SIBO guidelines for cancer and RCOG guidelines, Green Top guidelines I had read, ma'am. So if any new point, I found those notes uh, in those guidelines and I would add in those notes and ma'am i read the recent dashway guidelines for qqs and infertility yes so all those things that i teach plus all the guidelines i keep telling you about the guidelines from time to time that you have to read this because uh, in that one hour lecture for one topic i cannot cover everything and yes. i have to keep it interesting also so i cannot make it very vast so you have to read guidelines i don't expect people to read textbooks but guidelines have to be read Wonderful, Dr. Mallory. It was so nice having you over. It was so nice talking with you. Uh, your tips are priceless. Uh, it is going to be very helpful to the students. We'll stay in touch. Like I'm in touch with the previous batch students now.